For decades, Neptune was dismissed as a frozen, silent orb, drifting at the edge of our solar system, a lifeless, pale blue marble, trapped in an endless, uneventful orbit. But now, something has changed. Something we were never meant to see. The James Webb Space Telescope has pierced through Neptune's clouded veil, and what it found defies every model we've trusted for generations. And when renowned astrophysicist Neil deGrasse Tyson took the stage at a recent global symposium, he didn't just share data, he ignited a shock wave. A shock wave that now threatens to rewrite the very laws of planetary science. What if Neptune isn't just a gas giant? What if it's something else entirely? Something that behaves like a living system, radiating energy, bending physics and hiding structures no one ever imagined could exist inside a planet. In this video, we unravel the cosmic bombshell that Tyson dropped based on Webb's unprecedented observations. And trust me, once you see the patterns emerging from Neptune's depths, you'll never look at our solar system the same way again. Neptune was never discovered in the traditional sense. It wasn't seen through a telescope before it was predicted. Instead, it was summoned into existence through math, born from the unexplained wobbles in Uranus's orbit that hinted at a hidden presence. When it was finally observed in 1846, astronomers classified it as the eighth planet, a frigid giant composed of gas and ice spinning far beyond the warmth of the sun. Voyager 2's flyby in 1989 gave us fleeting images of swirling storms and wind systems faster than any on Earth. And from then on, Neptune was labeled and shelved, just another cold anomaly in a quiet corner of the solar system. But beneath the blue hues and whispering winds, Neptune was hiding something. Something that would not stay buried forever. And now, through the eyes of the James Webb Space Telescope and high-powered interferometers on Earth, the hidden structures, energies, and anomalies beneath Neptune's clouds have started to speak. And what they're saying is terrifyingly clear. Neptune doesn't behave like a planet. It behaves like something else entirely. Traditionally, we thought we understood the structure of giant planets. Core, ice layers, gas, envelope, predictable, stable. Neptune should have followed this rule book, but Webb's infrared data, combined with radio frequency arrays, painted a drastically different picture. Instead of neat layers arranged by temperature and pressure, Neptune is a chaotic mosaic. Some zones act like slushy plasma. Others pulse with mysterious heat that shouldn't exist that far from the sun. There are pockets buried deep under the cloud tops that emit thermal energy with no identifiable source. No nearby moons to cause tidal heating. No strong solar radiation. No known explanation. This shouldn't be happening. And yet, it's happening in Neptune. Even stranger is the idea of Neptune being partially hollow, containing resonant cavities or stratified chambers within its depths. These zones may trap and reflect electromagnetic gravitational waves in bizarre ways, almost as if the planet was singing a cosmic note we've never heard before. Tyson didn't speculate lightly. He described a world in constant internal motion unpredictable, maybe even unstable, a world where the classic model of planetary behavior doesn't just fail, it collapses. One of the most shocking discoveries wasn't just inside Neptune, it was wrapped around it. For years, astronomers knew Neptune's magnetic field was tilted and offset, but now Webb and Earth-based readings have shown that it's also evolving in real time. Imagine a magnetic field that drifts, breaks apart, then reforms itself in unpredictable cycles. This isn't random chaos. It's a pattern, but a pattern without a known cause. Instead of a convecting metallic core like Earth's, Neptune may have a layer of exotic ices under such extreme pressure that they generate electricity and magnetism in an entirely different way. Superonic water, 
an electrified phase of ice that behaves like a solid and a liquid at once might be flowing through Neptune's insides like a conveyor belt, feeding energy into a magnetic engine unlike anything seen on any other planet. This isn't just bizarre, it's revolutionary, because it means Neptune could be a prototype, a planetary body operating on rules that don't exist in our current physics. And if Neptune has rewritten the magnetic rulebook, how many other planets out there might do the same? As if Neptune's internal architecture and magnetic chaos weren't enough the James Webb Telescope has picked up something even more baffling. Radio signals, not the usual emissions caused by solar wind interactions, but deeper, darker frequencies. These signals originate from far beneath the planet's atmosphere, and their patterns don't match anything we've seen from natural atmospheric behavior. Some scientists even whisper theories of quantum level activity within Neptune's core behaviors that break classical models entirely. Others wonder if this might be evidence of unknown states of matter or interactions between exotic particles that only occur under the crushing pressure and unique chemistry found within this rogue world. Add to that the discovery of more superionic ice layers and you begin to realize Neptune isn't just weird, it's impossible by old standards. A planet that might drive its own storms from the inside where winds over 1300 mass bars aren't caused by sunlight, but by thermal pulses from mysterious materials, a planet whose interior may resemble a failed star locked in an eternal state of dynamic instability. A planet so strange, it might not even be a planet at all. Hidden beneath Neptune's turbulent atmosphere, scientists have begun to suspect the existence of materials that until recently had only ever existed inside laboratory simulations. Materials so alien, they defy ordinary classification. Chief among them is superionic ice, a strange phase of matter where water exists in a liminal state, part solid, part liquid, behaving like an electrified slush. In this state, hydrogen ions become mobile within a frozen oxygen lattice, creating a conductive soup that flows like lightning through molasses. Tyson emphasized this as a possible core mechanism behind Neptune's heat and magnetic anomalies, but the implications go much deeper. These exotic ices, under relentless pressure, might be organizing themselves into vast internal circuits, dynamic conveyor belts of electric flow that not only stir Neptune's interior, but actively shape its electromagnetic field. In other words, Neptune's engine isn't mechanical. It's chemical. It's fluid. It's alive. In a way no gas giant has ever been described. And the idea that such a material could exist naturally, thriving in the heart of a world billions of miles from the sun, opens the door to reimagining what planetary interiors can be. It means we may have discovered a new class of planetary behavior, one not based on structure, but on interaction, transformation, and persistent energetic motion. In our textbooks, planetary weather is always framed in terms of energy input, sunlight striking an atmosphere, driving winds, currents, and storms. But Neptune refuses to play by those rules. Located nearly 4.5 billion kilometers from the sun, it receives less than 1 1900th the solar energy Earth gets. And yet it hosts the fastest winds in the entire solar system. Now, the James Webb Telescope has now gathered enough data to support a shocking hypothesis. Neptune's weather may be internally generated. Tyson described it as a planet that feeds its own storms, where thermal pulses originating deep within the interior burst upward, driving vast systems of turbulence, vortexes, and cyclones from the core outward. These are not gentle breezes stirred by the sun. These are superstorms, fueled by the shifting entropy of Neptune's mysterious underlayers. If confirmed, Neptune would become the first known world whose climate system operates independent of solar energy, a self-sustaining atmospheric machine governed not by light but by the restless chemical furnace within. 
This flips the entire paradigm, because if weather can emerge from within, then planets need not bask in starlight to be dynamic, active, and possibly habitable in ways we've never imagined. The shock waves of Neptune's redefinition aren't confined to our solar system. Tyson made it abundantly clear. If Neptune is not what we thought, then neither are the thousands of similar exoplanets we've already cataloged. In recent years, astronomers have discovered countless mini-Neptunes and sub-Neptunes orbiting distant stars. These worlds, similar in size, mass, and assumed composition to Neptune, have been analyzed, modeled, and even ranked for potential habitability using the same flawed framework that just collapsed. If Neptune's heat comes from exotic materials and not radioactive decay, if its magnetic field is shaped by dynamic ice rather than metallic cores, if its weather is driven by internal combustion rather than sunlight, then all these many Neptunes may be far more active, complex, and alien than we dared to consider. Tyson's words were both thrilling and chilling. Our models may be dangerously simplistic, and the James Webb Telescope, by turning its gaze on Neptune, may have inadvertently rewritten the rules by which we judge the universe. Thousands of worlds are now back on the table for reanalysis, and some of them may be stranger and more alive than we're prepared to accept. In his closing statements, Tyson floated a possibility that left the scientific world in stunned silence. What if Neptune isn't just a strange planet, but something else altogether, with its ability to generate internal heat, harbor exotic matter, and produce magnetic and radio anomalies? Neptune may be occupying a space between classifications, a gray zone between planet and failed star. It doesn't have the mass for nuclear fusion, the hallmark of stars but its dynamism, temperature anomalies, and structural chaos suggest processes more energetic than planetary thermodynamics should allow. Some theorists are now whispering the term transitional object, a placeholder for celestial bodies that sit on the evolutionary edge of stellar and planetary physics. Tyson even hinted that Neptune might represent a cosmic relic a body from an earlier era of the solar system, a fragment of a process we no longer witness. Perhaps it is the fossilized echo of a protostar that never ignited, or the remains of a wandering planet captured and reshaped by our sun's gravitational field. Whatever it is, Neptune is forcing astronomers to tear up the old categories and embrace a terrifying truth. Not everything in the cosmos can be labeled, boxed, or understood in neat models. Some things, like Neptune, exist to remind us how little we truly know. Neptune was once a footnote, a distant, cold sphere that barely registered in our collective curiosity. But now, with the revelations brought forth by the James Webb Telescope and the piercing insights of Neil deGrasse Tyson, it stands as a monolith of mystery. A warning that beneath the surface of what we think we understand lie entire realities we've yet to imagine. Neptune defies classification. It shatters the symmetry of known planetary behavior. Its internal chaos, exotic chemistry, and erratic magnetism paint the picture not of a failed world, but of a world in defiance. A celestial rebel that refuses to conform to the equations we once believed were universal. If Neptune is hollow, dynamic, self-stimulating, and perhaps something between a planet and a star, then what else is out there hiding in plain sight? How many Neptunes have we overlooked, judged by rules that never applied to them in the first place? This isn't just about one planet. This is about the fragility of our scientific arrogance, the courage to reimagine, the power of a single discovery to uproot centuries of understanding. The James Webb Telescope didn't just observe Neptune, it listened to its hymn. It decoded its pulse, and in doing so, it exposed a truth that should shake us all, 
The universe is far stranger, far louder, and far more alive than we ever dared to believe. So if you thought you knew Neptune, think again. Now it's your turn. What do you think Neptune really is? A failed star? A planetary enigma? Or something we don't even have words for yet? Let us know in the comments. If this discovery blew your mind, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe for more videos that challenge everything you thought you knew, and don't forget to share this with someone who still thinks the solar system is just nine boring planets. Because Neptune has spoken, and it's not done yet,